Hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. My name is Alex. You can call me Alex or Silvermont. Or Mont, but not Silver, please. I'm no, I'm not a horse. And we're going to continue today with the bowing guys. Nope, with the Dragon Shrine. Not a huge area. Quite a cool area. Um, this area is... <coughs> How should I explain? If you don't fight the boss, I like this area. If you fight the boss, I hate this area. Because the boss of this area is pretty nasty, in my opinion. I think they might have nerfed the boss quite a bit since I last fought him, but... I don't really get why these guys are bowing, but... I guess it's because, um, you know, that oh, don't, the dragon welcomes you and all that. Maybe it's to do with that. These, this guy is not the worst, but the one with the hammer and a shield is horrible. Uh, are you going to let me pass? I hope so. I'm not really sure what, something is going to trigger these guys to be hostile. I just don't know what. Probably if you attack the boss of this area, but... Who knows? I guess we'll find out. Oh, there used to be one up here. Chest left. Oh, I didn't see that. Thank you. This was like some... Materials? Yeah, Twinkling Titanite, cool. I love the Dragon Shrine. From a visual perspective. I... I like the Souls games when they have something bright. And, oh. Oh, wow, that one's got a great bow and yeah these guys aren't too tricky or anything but I'd rather not fight them if I don't have to save zone and then hiding place I think this is a spell in here but I'm not sure you used to get the watch dragon palmer here but well not not in that exact place but in this area and they've now changed it so that you instead get the um, Watch Dragon Palmer after you defeat the Watch Dragon in Hades Tower of Flame. Damn. These Drake guys, are, they're kind of like an evolution of um, the Ancient Knights in Hades. Because their weapons are so big, you can easily get hit by them. They feel like they've been nerfed too, they're not doing too much damage to me. That's where we would generally continue, but first we're going to go down to a little optional area down here. Chest ahead, it is indeed. Wow, lots of bloodstains too. Oh, okay. Oh, there used to be a mimic here with a washing pole inside. Why is there so many blood stains? if it's not a Mimic? What the hell? Is... Mm, who's this? Oh, a Bashful Ray again. Mm, it's definitely not a Mimic. So what, is it a trap? Or what, what's happening here? No? What's killed all these dudes? Should I summon Bashful Ray? I, I don't want to because he might aggro the Dragon Warriors perhaps. Yeah, this enemy, this is the one you got to be careful with. He like just has like infinite stamina or some crap. But he can't get through the door, so we can just poison him and then wait for him to die, pretty much. See that thing behind him? That's actually something we're going to have a look at because it's pretty cool. First, we need to kill him. There we go. Mate, I made it look so easy, but he he can be kind of tough, that guy. But yeah, see this kind of mm, sculpture, mural, whatever you want to call it, of the of a dragon, and people. What are they praying to it or what? But it very kind of different to Dark Souls One, where dragons were not really revered in the same manner treasure ahead. Yeah, I'm going to take this treasure, dude. Thank you. Okay, so I'm thinking he might go hostile 
in a few moments because there's actually an invader here who's one of them. Any second now he will appear. Now. Here we go. But the third dragon ring, which is better than our current ring, so we'll swap it. We get more health, more um, endurance, more stamina, more everything. It's great. Oh, we only gain 1% um, equip load, but you know, it's fine. It, it's a straight upgrade, so you might as well equip it. Although it does weigh more, but whatever. Yeah, so now we have to fight... Dragonfang... Oh, what's his name? Villiard? Villiard? Villard? Something like that. The Dragonfang. And I wonder if the others will be hostile now. After we kill him, but we'll see. He's... Not too bad, as I recall. Oh, whoops. Ow. We'll, uh, chug it. Why are you rolling over there, dude? Oh, crap. You're chugging too. Like, I can't allow this, sorry. There you go. Um, he doesn't drop anything, I think. Yeah, this is where the Watch Dragon Palmer used to be. Dragon Fang Villard. And instead of the Watch Dragon Palmer, it's now Petrified Something. And here... Anything there? No, I'm just checking. Yeah, and here we have... A Petrified Egg. And when we pick it up... Somehow we fit that giant thing in our pocket. Whatever. Um, I think you can drop down here and get a spell. Yeah, this is um, crystal magic weapon, if I'm not very much mistaken. Are these guys... I picked up the egg. I killed Villard. Maybe they'll be hostile to me now. Oh, and frame bunch of yore. Nice. Uh, it's... Let's leave a message here. Doesn't look like they're hostile. So, plenty of time to leave a message. Try... Oh, where's wings? Do they not have wings anymore? Arm, tail... Oh, there we go. Try wings. And then... Uh... Try wings and then stay calm. There we go. Oh, my message has not appeared. Whatever. Okay, yeah. And uh, we're almost done with the area now. Ring required ahead and then hurrah for illusory wall. No, there's no illusory wall here. There's no, like, rings that expose that either as far as I'm aware. There was in Dark Souls 1. Like, if you wanted to get into the Dark Moon tomb... Or whatever that place was called. Oh, wow. Oh, there's loads of them now. Do I have my... Okay. Nothing there? Okay. Just, just double-checking. You never know. So, yeah, originally you would do Drang Lake Castle and then you would... Essentially, you would appear here and apparently get invaded. I will probably die. It's all good. Crystal magic weapon? Okay. Oh, it's going to backstab through me. Fortunately not. He's going for the old running thing. <laughs> I keep trying to do jumping attack and I'm doing that instead.
Yeah, I did a delayed attack then because I knew he was setting up for a parry. Hydro Killer 420. Mm. But yeah, if you see someone obviously setting up for a parry, instead of going like bam, bam, instead you just go like bam, bam. It's uh, that's an old tactic I picked up in my old Dead or Alive fighting days. The delayed combo. Okay. So all of these dudes are bowing, but there's one in the middle who looks like... Okay, so I have to fight the one in the middle. If I fight him, all the others... Oh, he's got... Like... Is he like, in, like a phantom? Look, he has like a strange aura around him, you see? Okay, come on. Let me poke you some more. Oh, wow. He hits pretty damn hard. Got a lot of poise too. That's okay. I wonder if this guy will respawn. All that poise, yo. And let's finish him off now, shall we? With an overhead. Nice. Hmm, okay. And that's pretty much the area done. I'm glad these guys didn't aggro me. That would have made this a lot harder. Oh. Are these guys hostile? No. <laughs> and what do we have here? Ashen Mist Heart. Where is it? Delve into the memories of the Withered. Manifestation of Ashen Mist received from the Ancient Dragon. The magic of the Ancient Dragon allows one to delve into the memories of the Withered. And that's all he has to say. And yes, you can fight him. He's... Uh, in the original game, he was the most ridiculous boss ever because... He would have an AoE that hit the almost the entire area and did something like 5,000 damage. And we have like, how much health do we have? We have around 2,000 health, let's round up. And yeah, it's, it's impossible to get anywhere near 5,000 health and that's how much damage he would do. Is he a real dragon? Probably not, but it's really hard to say. A lot of people thought he was Aldia. But we now know that he's not Aldia. But is he actually a real dragon? Probably not. But for all intents and purposes, he's huge. He breathes fire. He's a dragon. He's just not, I imagine, the, he's not an everlasting dragon from Dark Souls 1. But he is a dragon. A new type of dragon, perhaps. But, well. He's an interesting character. People speculate a lot about him, but when we defeat him a bit later on, we'll get um, his soul, which will offer some more insight. But for now, is that guy floating? No, okay. For now, we're going to go and pay a visit to a certain someone. So, technically, this is kind of the end of the game now. If we were continuing with the main story, we would go and do 
the uh, memories and then we would get to the end of the game. But we're going to do something else first. Um, first things first, we need to go to the Undead Crypt once again. There's a certain someone we want to uh, have a conversation with here. Um, <laughs> stupid rocks, get out of my way. Okay, let's go. Oh, we can probably just run down here, but... Mm. Yeah, I think we'll just run past the enemies here. There's no point fighting them, they're just pesky, pesky people. I like that there's all statues on the ceiling here, that's pretty cool. Run... Oh, the Dragon Rider doesn't respawn, really that's good. It used to be a lot harder to run past here because they would all be blocking this kind of passage, but... No problem. That's cool, the pillar shadow is moving on the sides. And I love me some dynamic lighting. We're not going to fight him just yet. That would be a bit ridiculous, but we are going to... Memory of the king. One cannot reside within memory for long. Seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. I am Vendrick, ruler of Drang Lake. Seeker of fire, deliverer of crowns. What do you see in the flames? Find the crowns and your own answers. The crowns hold the strength of lords from times long past. Seek adversity. As befits you, seeker of fire, coveter of the throne. I am no king. I am more fit to be a jester. I was unaware of my own blindness. We are feeble vessels with feebler souls. We would cast aside the prop of life only to face greater hardship. Are you another such fool? Or something more? I fail to see your design, young moth. But I see very little these days. So here we have Vendrick. In the current sort of like real time, he's uh, hollowed. And look, there seems to be blood or rust on his sword. It must be blood because when we're in the main sort of present time, there's none of that on it. And if we look up here. It wasn't there long, but you can just about see Velstart there at the end. Let's uh, have another look, shall we? And at his sword. Yeah, there's like no rust or blood on it, really, so it must have been blood, I'm guessing. Let's have another look, shall we? Then we'll end this episode. I fail to see your design, young moth, but... Okay, let's try and get another look at Velstart. Uh, I'll equip my binoculars. A bit hard to see him, but he's definitely there. That's a nice change. I don't think he was there before. Right now we can uh, go back to Medulla and call it for this episode, I think. Next time, we'll hit up Shulva, the Sanctum City. Of the but for now, we've we've had our introduction with Vendrick, and he tells us, uh, "Seek crowns. If like if we want to take the throne, then we need the crowns, or do we? Either way, he's telling us seek these damn crowns. We've already got one, Crown of the Ivory King. Three left." 
We need to get the crown of the Sunken King, crown of the Iron King, and Vendrick's crown as well. And we will, we will do that. Next time, Shulver the Sanctum City. Until then, you guys take care. Oh, and uh, the reason why Vendrick is down in the crypts, we'll find that out too soon enough. He's kind of hiding from something, shall we say. Actually, let's go pay a real quick visit to Shaoqua and then Kale. I want to see if they have anything you'd say. Trespassing into their dreams of the ones who cross the sea, lavishing ruin upon the land. How they savor their visions of glorious deeds in battle. <laughs> Why do people try? And but that's even my thing now. Hmm. So she mentions about the dreams. And um, how about Kale? I'm not sure. I think yeah, we need to kill it, like one more boss first. I think before we can finish up his quest. Okay. Right, that's going to do it for today. Tomorrow? And, well, next time, Shulver, the Sanctum City. I will see you guys then, where we'll be going deep into the earth, even deeper than the gutter, even deeper than the Black Gulch. We'll be going into the very core, the ancient deep. Sanctum City. Until then though, you take care. Ciao. Chug, chug. The old double chug. I'm gonna come out here and kill you. What are you doing, man? Yeah. Oh crap. 